So this morning's foray is old school deer stalking. Now, it's called deer stalking, okay? It's not deer shooting. And I think one of the skills that modern equipment kind of takes away from us a little bit is the ability to get close to deer. And back in the old days, right up until sort of 60 years ago, everybody shot deer efficiently with open sights. And it's a skill that has to be learned. So today we're gonna to go into the woods and look for muntjac and rodos. And we're gonna do it with my old Number one three star, Lee Enfield. Now this is a 303 caliber. It's shooting these. 303 is an excellent round. It's quite low velocity. Very, very good in thick woodland because it's a quite a heavy 150 grain Hornady soft point bullet. Just a great piece of kit. Before we can go stalking though, I need to check the rifle zero just to ensure an accurate clean shot. The magazine design fits 10 rounds neatly, but I won't be needing that many for now. The bolt is simple and efficient, and the sight's graded from 200 to 2,000 yards. It's easily adjustable. Taking a careful aim at the 60-yard steel muntjac target, I fire a shot. Another shot for clarity. Spot on. Well, that was a good solid hit. Let's go and see where we hit. That's two shots. That would have been absolutely spot on. I'm pretty happy. All good. A quick trip in the Huntsman gets me to the woods. Aha. That is the secret weapon for today. It's a Butolo, a roe deer call. Okay, so let's see, what have I got? So I've got a rope for extraction. I've got a knife, binoculars, a squeaker. I've got ammunition, binoculars, gloves, there we are. amazing, you can think that takes 10 of those, so we're loaded, okay I'm not going to load it until I get down to the wood, so it's safe, with Millie the dog and my squeaker, I'm looking forward to a fruitful outcome from today's stalk. So now we have to just look. To cut a desperately long and exasperating story short, no amount of squeaking could bring me a single beast. After a long, long while waiting, I decide to move further along to another nearby piece of woodland. As I creep further into the beech wood, I'm sure I catch a glimpse of a distant muntjac. Okay, I saw a muntjac as we approached the wood. My luck may just be about to change. A matter of minutes later, my trusty squeaker calls forward the solitary buck muntjac. I'm holding the rifle steady and I'm just going to see if I can coax it into a safer firing position. It's no good, they just seem to know where to stand. The shot is not safe, and now it's seen us. Thoroughly downhearted, and with the daylight fading fast, I leave the wood and decide to give things one last try. Never give up. I choose a more open position this time with a superb panorama of the dimming landscape. And my luck's in. There's a small doe muntjac lurking to my right in the near darkness. I can see her clearly. 
I decide all or nothing, let's give it a go. One last squeak with a Batolo and the Muntjac comes close enough. If I can, I'm gonna take the shot. Uh. Yep, got it. I'd say it's about 90 yards, something like that, maybe 100. But um, the deer turned beautifully broadside and stood in front of the oak tree. So let's go and have a look. Let Millie find it. Good girl. Good girl, Millie. Okay, where did I hit? Oh my goodness me. Look at that. British military firearms. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with them for shooting with open sights. Look at this. That could not be a prettier shot. I'm very happy. My dog found it and I achieved something I've wanted to do for ages, which is shoot a muntjac with a Lee Enfield 303 open sights. What a fantastic weapon. Very steady, perfect sight picture, that lovely V in the blade and I put it literally just behind its shoulder, squeezed Jenny, it's got a beautiful trigger, and she just went, Poof! never knew what hit her. Result. Deer stalking is all about patience, and particularly if you decide to use open sight, today all my efforts have proved well worthwhile. Squidge it liberally onto the stick, And if you've enjoyed this recipe, then watch other recipes and my other films on YouTube.